rabbis tell us, the Medrash, on the same pursuit, when one goes out to his enemies, Mashal, Lima, Adavar Domed, what is it likened to? And they answer, Yeroed, to a shepherd who went out in the forest to tend his sheep. A shepherd. Obviously Jewish, as you'll see soon. Matzal Gur Echazeh. He found a little baby wolf. He had pity on it. The Jews have pity on, on anything weak, even, even wolves. He had pity on Vaya menikom min ha'izim. And so he nursed it with his goats. Never this little wolf. <laughs> he nursed it, and he got stronger and stronger and bigger. Amal Obam Lachto, his employer said to him, What's this? Uh, he, he said, Kill it, kill it. Shaloi Dehei Takala Latzon. Because otherwise it will be a stumbling block onto, onto our sheep. He will kill the sheep. Little wolves become big wolves. Hello, Shemayim. Yeah. Even this is, after all, a Jewish heart. After all, a Jewish heart. Ivan Gadal, when it got bigger, Ra Keves, Dargo, he saw a sheep and killed it. Yediva Achlo. The goat and ate him. Amarlo, so his employer said to him, didn't I tell you not to pity on it? Thus did Moses say unto the Jews, If you have pity on them, those that you will leave from them, they will be as thorns in your eyes. And they will persecute you in the land. There is no coexistence with the Arabs. One who speaks of Jewish Arab coexistence will have to first prove to me that there is coexistence between Arabs. It is a pleasure to see how Arabs live together in their room. It is a pleasure. The coexistence there is profound. Sunni and Shiites and Druze and Christians and Hezbollah, each one masters the other one daily. But of course, we will live with them together because we have so much in common. 